So nice to see you again. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 recycled scenes in animated Disney movies. I like that. Let's do it all the time. Say, that is an idea. Come on, kids. For this list, we'll be looking at times Disney reused animation sequences in their feature-length theatrical release films. These pieces of art were so nice, they had to be used twice. Have you ever experienced deja vu when watching a Disney animated classic? Be sure to share with us in the comments below. Number 10. Scaredy Cats, Cinderella and 101 Dalmatians When you catch this much air, sometimes you just need to repeat it. The first use of this sequence was near the end of Cinderella when the villainous Lucifer jumps in fear when the dog Bruno comes to save the day. Lucifer subsequently leaps out of the tower, although it appears he lands on his feet. The second use of this animation sequence was 11 years later, for a cat who was on much better terms with dogs. Well, blast it all, Tim's on the double, man, on the double. Yes, sir, righto, sir, right away, sir. In fact, Sergeant Tibbs is attempting to save 99 Dalmatian puppies when the wretched henchman Jasper throws darts at him, causing him to leap out of their way. <laughs> How'd you like a tabby cat stew? <laughs> or a cat casserole? <laughs> All a moot! While these two cats couldn't be more different, their jumps are frame for frame the same. Number 9. Gunshot and Brawl, Make Mine Music, and The Great Mouse Detective These scenes have far more in common than the fact that they take place in seedy pubs. The sequence first takes place during the short Johnny Fedora and Alice Bluebonnet from the anthology film Make Mine Music. The unfortunate Johnny Fedora is an anthropomorphized hat whose owner is involved in a bar fight, and he's literally caught in the crosshairs. <laughs> Exactly four decades later, Disney dusted off this impressive sequence for their clever Sherlock Holmes-inspired film, The Great Mouse Detective. Stay close and do as I do. Once again, the fight takes place in a bar, but this time it's mice instead of hats who have human features. No matter the year, this is a fun bit of animation. Number 8. Cats Being Cornered 101 Dalmatians and the Aristocats Yep, that's our friend Sergeant Tibbs once again. This time, the brave Tabby was the original source of animation in 101 Dalmatians. As Sergeant Tibbs valiantly protects the Dalmatian puppies in his care, the villainous Jasper once again antagonizes the cat, casting an imposing shadow over the scene. <laughs> now we got a Maurice. They've run out of room. Nine years later, Disney reused this animation, as well as other shots for the Aristocats. This time around, Thomas O'Malley didn't have any puppies to protect, but the wicked butler Edgar still casts an imposing figure over the cat. This sequence perfectly captures the fear these brave cats feel, as well as the scary nature of their attackers. Number 7. Running and Taking, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad and the Jungle Book This chase scene is pretty hilarious, so we can't blame Disney for wanting to use it twice. It was first seen in the first part of The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. But where's Winky? There he is. Shh. He's got the paper on him. In an attempt to prove their friend Toad's innocence, Mole and Water Rat desperately try to keep a deed out of the grips of Mr. Winky and the Weasels. I beg your pardon. They ultimately succeed and celebrate later on. The elaborate chase scene was reused in its 15-second entirety later in The Jungle Book. 
Of course, Mowgli is much different than a deed, but he is the center of the conflict. Bagheera and Baloo fight with King Louie and his henchmen to keep the child from their grips. Number 6. Mowgli and Christopher Robin – The Jungle Book and the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh This time around, Mowgli is the original animation. For nearly a minute, Mowgli meanders through his idyllic jungle home. The young boy climbs on a rocky cliff, carries a stick and throws stones as a beautiful waterfall tumbles in the background. Ten years later, Disney reused this long stretch of animation for another young boy in a gorgeous setting. Oh my gracious! Oh dear! Christopher Robin wanders around the Hundred Acre Wood with his friend Pooh and also climbs on a cliff, carries a stick, and tosses stones. What I like best is me going to visit you and you saying, how about a smackerel of honey? <laughs> no matter the child, they always find ways to entertain themselves when they're bored. Number 5. Bonked on the Head – 101 Dalmatians and the Sword in the Stone Once again, Cruella's wretched henchman Jasper makes an appearance on this list. This time, he's the original victim of a bonk to the head when his literal partner in crime, Horace, hits him with a club as he aims for Pongo. Come on, Horace, old pal, give him what for? I'm right behind you, lad. Woo! The second instance of this reused shot focuses on Sir Kay and his father, Sir Ector. As the elder Sir winds up his sword, he hits his son on the head. Black magic of the worst kind! Come on, Kay! To the attack! Woo! These bits of animation are exactly the same motions, only one uses a club and the other uses a sword. At least the identical shots only last a few frames, then deviate wildly. Now what over here? Jumping hot toads! Number 4. Chase Scene – Alice in Wonderland and Robin Hood This was the Scooby-Doo chase scene before there was even a Scooby-Doo. For the original instance of this sequence, Alice is desperately trying to outrun the Mad Queen of Hearts and her massive court in an elaborate chase. The scene was reused later in the aftermath of the archery tournament in Robin Hood. Similarly to Alice, Robin Hood, Maid Marian, and the Merry Men are attempting to escape Prince John's corrupt soldiers. Hey, who's driving this flying umbrella? This was a pretty elaborate chase scene the first time it happened, so it definitely deserved a second visit 22 years later. Why not? <laughs> Number 3. Happily Ever After Dance – Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and the Beast These two films share more than a common word in their titles. The original sequence of this beautiful dance scene came at the end of Sleeping Beauty. Princess Aurora and Prince Philip finally get their happy ending, and dance in the clouds as Meriwether and Flora change the color of Aurora's dress. More than three decades later, Beauty and the Beast rolled out some cutting-edge technology for its most famous dance scene. However, even this revolutionary film relied on recycled animation in its final scene as Belle and her prince dance into their happily ever after. At least this time around, no one was trying to alter Belle's iconic gold gown. Are they gonna live happily ever after, Mama? <laughs> of course, my dear. Of course. Number 2. Puppy Kisses – The Sword in the Stone and the Jungle Book whether it's by the wolf pack that raised you or by a pair of castle dogs, getting tackled and licked on the face by pups is twice as nice with this reused scene. And I most certainly agree. The original scene is in The Sword in the Stone, where the young Arthur is tackled by two dogs at Sir Ector's castle, who happily lick his face. <laughs> The animation sequence was reused four years later for The Jungle Book. Mowgli was raised by wolves, so this pack tackle is their equivalent of a giant warm family hug. <laughs> From the castle to the jungle, this is a sweet sequence that we're always happy to revisit. 
Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Mowgli and Penny take identical walks through the jungle and bayou. The Jungle Book and the Rescuers. Mowgli! Mowgli! Answer me! Penny! Maid Marian channels her inner Snow White during this dance. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Robin Hood. Deer run in these smooth sequences 25 years apart. Bambi and the Jungle Book. Identical ducks just flipped swim in the rain. Bambi and the Fox and the Hound. <laughs> Lewis uses Spanish moss to channel his inner Madame Mim, the Sword in the Stone, and the Princess and the Frog. Want a bet? Boo! Oh, you see? I win, I win! She got magic and spells. All kind of hoodoo. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Same Dance Moves – The Jungle Book and Robin Hood there are quite a few similarities between these films, especially when it comes to Baloo and Little John, but this identical dance is probably the biggest one. I'm gone, man. Solid gone. Not yet, Baloo! The original dance sequence in The Jungle Book takes place between a disguised Baloo and King Louie in King Louie's palace. In Robin Hood, the exact same dance occurs between Little John and Lady Cluck as they celebrate in Sherwood Forest. Considering the resemblance between Baloo and Little John, this almost frame-for-frame -frame recycled sequence was pretty easy to pull off. From the close-ups to the further out shots, these scenes are identical. We can't blame Disney for revisiting this fun sequence, though. It gets us dancing, too. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.